What is up guys, Hoax Sam here, welcome back to another Iron Man Road to Max episode. This is episode 34 of the series, and for the first task of the video, I did get 12 Black Dragons. I don't feel like killing King Black Dragons, so I'm just here killing the baby ones. I only have three more, I think this is the last one actually. Yeah, this is the last one, so uh, let's get that done, just get one more hit on him. And the next task I get is 177 fire giants not a bad task all right that's the first trip completed i honestly forgot to bring my soul bearer and i also really need to get a gem bag i might try to get one this episode i'm just gonna go afk the mother load mine uh for golden nuggets i think i might have to do that uh, because lately i've been getting a lot of gems from task and sometimes i, I can't even pick them all up so well, not sometimes, most of the time I can't even pick them up. Uh, but I did get two ancient shard drops and a rune scimitar this trip. Uh, I really gotta leave because I'm only 17 HP and two prayer points. But yeah, that's not too bad. I still have 71 to go. Not too bad at all. I could probably get this done in like 15 to 20 more minutes. Uh, so yeah, let's go bank. There we go, just completed this task. 539 tasks in a row completed. I'm not gonna go to Duradel to get my... 10th task in a row uh, because I don't really need Slayer points. I have plenty of them as you see here. I have 1.2k points so I don't really need them. Uh, there really is no use for them. Only just going to use them to skip task. And for the next task I get King Black Dragon. Um, I'm just going to go kill 3 of them. I don't really like doing King Black Dragon so I'm just only going to kill 3 because you do get a lot of XP after completing a boss task. And there we go, 540 tasks completed in a row for 60 Slayer points. And also did get rewarded 5,000 Slayer XP for completing a boss task. Let's pick this stuff up and then teleport to check what the next task is. Just got 208 Abyssal Demons, probably one of my most favorite tasks. Let's go get this done. Just encountered my first ever Greater Abyssal Demon. It looks like a little baby sire, I guess. That's what it kind of looks like in a way. And the loot is, well, 4.2k XP. And for the loot, Dark Totem Base. I actually just thought that I got an Abyssal Head, but it's an sold one. If I did get an Abyssal Head, I probably would have got another Slayer Helm and put that on it. Because that one looks really cool. But overall, pretty cool. Not too bad. 4.2k Slayer XP. Alright, so I just completed the first trip of the task. I did give myself a Heart Clue Scroll and also a Dark Totem Base, as you guys saw in the previous clip of me killing the Greater Abyssal Demon. Uh, it's really good. It's pretty good uh, inventory so far for this one trip. And I still have 106 more to go, so I'll be completing that shortly. But first, I gotta go complete this Heart Clue Scroll. I believe this is the last step of the Clue Scroll. And it is. Let's teleport to Edgeville and then open it up. And uh, for the loot, wow, that's actually really good. I finally just got myself a Rune Heraldic Shield. I really needed this. I believe I can complete every single Heart Clues Scroll now because I have a Rune Heraldic Shield. Damn, that's really good loot. Just encountered another Greater Abyssal Demon. This is the second one this task. And also, I did get a Heart Clue Scroll. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be completing this after the task. But first, let's just spec this thing out. And one more spec. 4.2k XP. And for the drop, I get a Dark Totem Middle Piece. Uh, that's pretty good. And I just forgot my uh, Soul Barrier. That sucks. Rip. I just completed that Abyssal Demon task and I DC'd while going back to this guy so I just reclosed the client. That's why there's no uh, chat log for the completion of the Slayer task. You guys see here I need something new to hunt. And we get 67 Ankus, extremely fast task. But before I do that I will be completing this hard clue scroll. Alright, finally completed this clue scroll. It was a bunch of puzzles and uh, for the loot... Uh, nothing too special, just got some coins, purple sweets, rune kite shield, a lobster, and 24 blood rune. Let's go and complete our Anku task now. And that task was completed super fast. Doing it in the catacombs is also really, really good because it is multi, so they all attack you. Uh, obviously the aggro is gone, but I got that down to maybe 10 minutes. We get 
148 trolls do not feel like doing that, so I'm gonna cancel it. And get 211 blood belts. Really good task. A lot of Slayer XP right here, so I'll be do I will be doing this in the catacombs. All right, I just finished the task, and I did get a shield left half. Sadly, I don't need this anymore. I already got one before, but this is extremely rare to get. Um, that's on the mega rare drop table, I believe. Or maybe just the rare drop table. But I don't know. That's a really rare drop. I did get a shield left half. Uh, Dark Totem top piece. I believe this is the last piece I need. And also did get a hard clue scroll. So right now the plan is to go complete this hard clue scroll. And then I'll go kill Skatizo. Get another hard clue scroll. I'll go complete that. And then I will go and check what the next task is. Also before... I end this clip, I just want to say that I am 154k XP off 99 attack. Definitely will be getting this at the end of the episode. And uh, I am 510,000 XP off 95 Slayer. Still a long way to go, but halfway to 95. Not too bad. Uh, but yeah, let's go get this clue scroll completed. Just completed the clue scroll, and for the loot, I don't get anything too special. I did get a War Blessing, which is a Bandos item. Uh, sadly, I don't need this, so really no point for this clue. Uh, nothing too special. Some nature runes, a rune battle axe, lobster, purple sweets, and a war blessing. And I just got hit by poison. Yeah, I'm going to teleport out, but let's go kill Skatizo. Just kill Skatizo, and that drop was really good. Got 20 snapdragons. That's 20 super restores. A really good drop. And I also did get one Ancient Shard and one Hard Clue Scroll. Let's go get this done, but before I do, I'm going to go charge up my Arc Light. Damn, I have eight Ancient Shards in total now. Uh, let's charge up the Arc Light, and we can actually charge up one more time. So I now have 6.3k charges. All right, I just completed that clue, and the ward isn't anything too special i did get a magic compo i don't really need this uh but yeah overall not the best but let's go check what the next task is and we get 72 ankus really fast task let's go get this done all right after 10 minutes i just completed this task and let me just say it's pretty profitable uh, i made a total of let me see let me add this in 45,000 gp I know it's not that much, but for 10 minutes and just AFKing the whole task, that's pretty good. Also, I did not drink any doses of my prayer pots. Obviously, the super attack and strength I drank just to speed up the task. But uh, if you low levels want to make some money and want to just AFK, just come here, bring some prayer gear, and just AFK here. You can make some decent money from this. You won't make too much, but you know you can train your stats up while making some money. I guess it's like the upgraded version of sand crabs. Uh, also, every like 10-15 minutes, you might have to get your aggro back. That's almost the same as sand crabs. But yeah, that's enough talking. Let's not get off task. Let's go and check what the new task is. Very nice task. 122 gargoyles gives a lot of alkables. And also, I can just AFK this, so let's go get this done. Just completed this task. Really nice. As you see here, I made a good amount of profit. So 360k coins. Uh, that's mostly just from elking stuff, and also sometimes these uh, gargoyles can drop up to 10,000 coins. That's a lot of money for a drop. Uh, so in total from this task, it took me about 30 to 40 minutes to complete, and I made 514k cash. And it is also semi-AFK. I did AFK most of it, but damn, that's a lot of money for like 30 to 40 minutes. And also, I did not uh, use as many prayer pots as I expected. Probably three or four or something like that. Maybe less. I'm not too sure. Uh, but the next task is 133 advances. Um, about this, I don't really feel like doing this. I know I said I'm going to be doing Arma soon. But I don't really want to go get Black Chins right now. And honestly, I don't feel like doing Arma this second. So I am going to cancel this. And I get 205 blood builds. Really good task. A lot of XP. But yeah, sorry about that. I just don't really feel like doing Armadillo right now. Uh, I really do want to just get some Slayer XP and chill for now. Uh, later in the future, once I finish Ceradomen, which I plan on doing soon, uh, when I get the Ceradomen hill, I'll be done with her. 
and then I can go and uh, start doing some armadil and hopefully get some armadil drops. Something very cool is about to happen. I will be getting 99 attack in the next couple of clips. Uh, by the way, for the Slayer update, I only have 89 blood belts to go. I do have a hard clue scroll to complete. I also did get an ancient shard and a dark totem base drop. Uh, that's a lot of blood runes, 513 for half the task. But before I do get 99 attack, what I'm thinking to do is completing this hard clue scroll. I'm not going to open it up, but what I'll be doing is quickly after I get 99 attack, open it up right away. And then hopefully get 3rd age. Because if I do get 3rd age, then that's going to be like an insane clip. Because I got 99 attack and then 3rd age back to back, like right after. Uh, which will be insane. Then I can send that off to Spark Mac Live or maybe Chris Archie. Get some exposure. But you know, you can always wish for stuff like that. Probably not going to happen. You know, I, I doubt it. I doubt that's going to even happen. Uh, but you can always wish for it or hope for it, you know. Uh, but that's enough talking. Let's stop dragging this on. Let's go finally get my seventh ever 99 on my Iron Man. Are you guys ready? About to hit 99 attack. Shout out to all these guys, by the way, for coming uh, to my little 99 attack party. Let's put Piety on. And let's get ready. There we go, 99 attack. I didn't even expect the level 2 man. But damn, 99 attack. And for the loot, yeah, that's garbage. 67k reward for getting 99 attack. But damn, 99 attack. Let's go get that 99 attack cape. About to buy one attack cape. I don't think I'm going to buy two because there's placeholders already in the bank. I just talked to this guy to buy the skill cape. Can I buy a skill cape? Uh, yep, there you go, 99k. Let's walk out and let's do the emote. I really like this emote, by the way. Let me just get a better angle on it. I like this emote, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Also, if you didn't make it to the end of the video, let me know in the comments below. I want to see how many people actually make it to the end of my videos. And yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.